guys, welcome back to another Twin Toddler Time series video. Zara and Zaya are not here right now because Trevon and I are converting their crib. Not really crib, kind of like their rooms, but we're getting rid of their cribs and they are getting big girl beds. I'm super excited, slightly nervous because now they have the freedom to get up and walk around but this is a huge step because they are turning too soon so we are excited first off I want to show you a little kind of room tour of what it presently looks like and then I'm going to show you what we're going to be doing to their room as well as the products that we're going to be using from the bed to the mattress etc so in the room right now we have this bookshelf that Trev and I put together. It is very, very simple. I think it's gonna stay. We have Zara's bed, crib, I should say, on this side. And then we have their curtains, which are pink, and also they have hearts on it. And then Zaya's bed, and then their dresser on this side. And then we have their hamper here. And then we also wanna put this on the wall. Not too sure if it's gonna go in their playroom or in this room so this is what their room looks like now trev and i are going to get to work get these cribs out of here and then get their new room all set up first problem <laughs> it's too wide it's too wide i think we gotta disassemble a little portion of it we got them out and now it is time to clean the room because it needs a good, good vacuum. What? I got them out. Trev is just putting together the first bed frame. It's so big, we're not too sure how we're gonna set it up because we can't put it in the same area that we did before. So we may have to put them against, one against this wall and one against this wall. We'll figure it out and we'll show you what we decide. So we're putting the beds on an angle. We have to push them back. We just have to change the curtains. But this is how it's going to look. And then their dresser is now on this side. And there's more than enough room for me to access it. And then their hamper is in the corner. So we are going to change the drapes right now. Put on some beautiful curtains. And then we are going to get to putting on the mattresses on the beds. As well as fixing the beds all up. So now that our beds are set up, it is time for the mattresses. I want to first off thank Washabelle for sending us these mattresses. Guys, these are the only mattresses, the first one that are machine washable. These are perfect and ideal for toddlers, especially those who are potty training. My girls are in the process of just beginning the potty stage. So it is so crucial to have something that is great for them in the event that they have an accident and these are machine washable as mentioned so i will show you guys me unboxing this and then also show you how you can machine wash each layer so it says open here at the top so really quickly it comes with this pamphlet which is awesome it shows you how to open set up wash dry and assemble your new washable mattress and the mattress already comes just compressed in the box that you saw but if you are to take it apart and wash it in layers it gives you literally step by step on how to do that which is awesome so there are six layers the zippers at the top it takes about 20 minutes it says for it to completely puff up So I want to show you guys the different layers. You unzip it and there are the layers that can each be removed and washed in the wash and dried separately. Then there's a zip on this layer and then there's more layers underneath. So again, very convenient 
for toddlers who are puppy training. So on top of the mattresses, we're gonna be using sleep bumpers because the girls sleep pretty horribly and now they're no longer in a crib so I want to ensure that they don't fall out. And we are gonna be using these sleep bumpers that were sent to us from Hiccup Pop. Thank you so much for sending these. These are amazing, guys. I'm going to unbox it really quickly just to show you. So here are the instructions on how to get it started. It says, remove plastic band, unroll and allow foam to return to its full shape in about two hours time. Place the bumper on the edge of the mattress under deep fitted sheets. We've improved our non-skid material. So they're not your typical bumper pads that are made out of steel, but they are of material, which is awesome. So I'm going to take it out so you guys can see it. So this is what it looks like and it is a very very long length so you can get them with either one or in the set of two we got two for each because now the girls are no longer on or against the wall so this is perfect there's a, a really nice material on it that you can tell is like a no slip so this is not going to easily be moved either from like your kids pushing it or even you moving it it's going to stick very very easily so here are the bumper pads on the bed and I just need to let them expand for about two hours. After it's done expanding, I am going to set up the beds and then let the girls go to sleep. Before completely dressing the beds, I wanted to share with you guys these pillows that we received from a little pillow company. As you guys can see, these pillows are a smaller size than your standard. These are toddler pillows, which are great for kids who have never used pillows before. So I know Zara and Zaya are going to be able to adjust to finally using a pillow. Now, we also received these, which are the toddler size cases for them. They come in a variety of different patterns. This one here is little sheep and the background is pink. If you have a regular pillowcase, you can use it with these pillows. There is a tutorial that I'll link below to show you how to make it fit. So I'm going to be using these and also putting these on as well. And then I also have a regular standard size that I can use and I'm gonna be using that tutorial. Here it is with the pillowcase on it. Super, super cute. I know the girls are gonna love this. And it feels so soft. The material is beautiful. The room is complete and I'm so excited to show you guys what it looks like. Welcome to Zara and Zaya's big girl room. It turned out amazing. They've slept in their beds now for two nights and guys, they've slept straight through the night. No problem whatsoever. All of the details to all of the sponsors for this video will be in the description bar. So please make sure to go and check them out. We are not completely done with the room, but it is definitely almost complete. We want to put name plates at the top of their bed. I think we're going to put their first and middle name in the wood name plates. Also, we are going to be using the lollipop baby camera and we're going to be installing it. I'm going to do a separate video of an unboxing and installing this in their room. This is going to be the new baby monitor that we're going to be using and getting rid of our old one. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for being a part of this room transformation. We are so, so grateful again to all of our sponsors and to all of our subscribers for continuing to tune into our channel. Make sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed already and I will see you guys on our next video. Bye for now.